You may remember in July we released the number of 98, and there were 98 adverse annual findings um, in July. Since that time, the program has continued. It's an ongoing program, um, and particularly with a number of uh, um, bump-up uh, athletes and with others for whom we have intelligence. So there's three more adverse annual findings, bringing the total number to 101. Um, and I can assure you there will be many more to come in the future because the program is continuing. In the coming weeks and months, we should expect more from London. But of course, because of the uh, statute of limitations, the, the analysis in Beijing is finished. And why do I expect more positives? I suppose it's really extrapolation. I'm reasonably comfortable that uh, we, we weren't going to get any significant number of more positives in Beijing because the last few uh, a a athletes, the, the, the last hundreds of athletes we tested, there were no positives. Um, but we're still getting positives from the intelligent targeting of samples from London. So that does suggest that that will continue. A number of medals have been uh, reallocated. Uh, the, the real aim of doing this is firstly as a deterrence so that athletes who are thinking of cheating will really will realize now that be it four years, be it six years, be it eight, and in the future, ten years because of the new code, um, they could still be caught, and they're very likely to be caught, so they need to watch out. Yeah.